The PLCS Gas-Free Low Pressure PE Bagging Off System. Isolating a section of PE main, especially 8 inch or 12 inch SDR11, can be challenging. Drilling through thick wall HDPE can be difficult, time consuming, and sometimes performed in blowing gas conditions. Using off the shelf hole saws to access the main can create shavings that fall into the pipe, causing blockages at other locations within the gas system. Squeeze off procedures can create several concerns. For one, PE can be damaged at the squeeze points. Lifting equipment is usually required to mobilize these large squeeze-offs. Large squeeze-offs require large excavations, which increase reinstatement costs, and the squeeze-off tool may not completely stop the gas. The solution is to use the PLCS Gas-Free PE Bagging Off Equipment Platform for 4 through 12 inch pipes. Its lightweight stainless steel construction has an integrated sectional vent perch pipe complete with flame arrestor, so no squeezing off. The PLCS cylindrical gas bag design creates more pipe contact for a gas-free stop. Positive placement bag insertion tubes, regulated bag inflation, quick connects for easy operation, and a max pressure rating of 1 PSI, all make it a great solution for plastic pipes. To begin, install a company-approved threaded outlet fitting and remove the cap and completion plug. The system adapts to any 2-inch or larger threaded outlet fitting. A completion plug removal tool is included within the toolkit. Fit and tighten the outlet adapter and ball valve. To install the cutter onto the shaft, Loosen the arbor lock nut and tighten onto the cutter. Make sure the drive pins fit into the cutter attachment holes. Fit into the octagonal connection and tighten the holding sleeve. Snug the arbor lock nut with the two wrenches. Now the cutter assembly is ready to attach to the ball valve. Tighten the assembly onto the ball valve. Fit the power drive socket onto the shaft square. Make sure the power drive turns clockwise for tapping. The power drive has a very high torque rating. It taps 12 inch SDR11 with a 1.1159 inch wall thickness in less than two minutes. Typical power drives just don't have the torque as well as the slow speed. Optimal for tapping plastic. Inside the power drive, the worm gearing provides the high torque and slow speed, so it will not melt the PE. 
It has ample power even in cold weather. It's lightweight and reversible. The compact angle head allows access in confined spaces. There is no counting revolutions because of the predetermined drill feed. The operator will also feel when the cutter has broken through. Retract the drill shaft by hand using the supplied ratchet wrench. Once the cutter is above the pipe, pull to release the shaft pin and pull the drill upwards to above the ball valve. Close the ball valve, bleed off any excess gas, and remove the drill assembly. The cutter is seen here with the captured coupon. To remove the coupon, place the back of the cutter inside the holding hex and match the holes to the internal drive pins. Spin the jack screw clockwise until it touches the plastic. Secure the hex in a vise or a wrench, then tighten the jack screw until the coupon is pushed out of the cutter. To install the bag, push the bag tube through the bag off assembly until the threaded end is accessible. Then tighten the bag to the tube with two wrenches. Carefully feed the bag through the bag shoe. Secure the bag shoe to the launch tube with the set screw. At this time, you can pressure test the bag to 25% of the maximum inflation pressure for at least 15 minutes and according to company procedures.
fully withdraw the bag within the tube. Then retract the shoe to inside the stuffing box. Tighten the retracted assembly onto the ball valve. Attach the vent riser Loosen the compression nut and push down on the launch tube until it is felt touching the bottom of the main Then push down the bag tube until you feel a positive stop. This means the deflated bag is in the main. Set the regulator to the correct inflation pressure. To withdraw the bag, open the small valve on the inflation tree to deflate the bag. Carefully pull up on the bag tube to withdraw the bag up inside the launch tube. Once in position, tighten the small compression nut to hold in place. Then withdraw the launch tube to above the ball valve and tighten the compression nut to hold in place. Close the ball valve and remove the assembly. Push the hex head end of the completion plug tool shaft into the stuffing blocks. Attach the completion plug and withdraw it into the stuffing box. Tighten onto the ball valve. Open the ball valve and push down on the shaft and tighten the completion plug.
Once the completion plug is tight, pull up on the shaft to disengage. Open the bleeder valve to check for no blowing gas, which verifies the completion plug has been correctly installed. The operation is complete. The remaining equipment can be removed.